Ravi, it was a chaotic afternoon for people who live in this building behind me in the Lincoln Park neighborhood. All of those police officers are expected to be okay. The man who police say they found in this alley did later die at the hospital. But right now, investigators are trying to figure out what started that fire. As flames broiled inside a seventh floor apartment, police officers scrambled up and down the fire escape, frantically searching for people inside. I just heard like a lot of glass breaking and they were banging on everyone's door um, and they were like, you have to get out, you have to get out. Shayna Salloway was still sleeping as the unit just five doors down became overrun with smoke. That smoke billowed out of the windows broken by the heat of the fire. As firefighters worked to extinguish it, police officers and property managers quickly moved door to door on the six lower floors. The building uh, property manager came and just started pounding on my door yelling that there's a fire in the building and that we all needed to get out. So. I uh, kind of just grabbed my coat, put my shoes on, and uh, got out of there. And everybody else was just kind of like running out of their rooms, going down the stairs. The first thing that went through my head was like, get all the pets, get anything <laughs> that's living, alive, that I could save and rescue, and just try to evacuate immediately. Police say that swift response got everyone out of the building safely, except the man they found unresponsive in a neighboring alley who they believe jumped from the fire. Outside groups of residents stood in the street still stunned. One woman clung to her laptop barefoot. She left so quickly she didn't even grab shoes. They sat for hours wondering when it might be safe to return home. Firefighters had to meticulously check each unit in this building to make sure it was safe for residents to return. Most of them were allowed back in about an hour and a half ago. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.